in this video uh, i am going to discuss one more type of capture pump that is sputter ion pump so the main feature of the sputter ion pump uh, let us see first of all so this is a ion pump and better described as ion getter pump because they exploit ionization and titanium gathering so both the processes are involved ionization as well as the titanium gathering so ionization of the gas molecules okay so this this process as well as the titanium gathering so in the next slides we are going to understand this process practically uh, in this some of these slides so purely ionic pumping mechanism along with pumping due to freshly deposited titanium gathering film by the process of sputtering that is uh, taking place uh, in this particular sputter ion pump the ejection of number of atoms from the surface due to the impact of single energetic particle such as ion which is accelerated in an electric field so basically what is happening here the gas molecules are ionized the positive ion is accelerated towards the uh, electrode which is actually the getter material like titanium so when the ion strikes on the electrode which is getter material like titanium it will be sputtered and because of that the atoms will be deposited elsewhere in the chamber and that will act as a getter so the molecules will be trapped or reacted with the getter material and they will be captured in that process so the basic element of sputter ion pump is the painting cell so this working of the painting cell we are going to discuss here in which a self sustaining painting discharge is set up so let us try to understand this painting cell and this process of self sustaining painting discharge that uh, we are going to uh, discuss here okay so this is the structure of uh, the uh, sputter ion pump or what is called as the painting cell so basically this cell is a diode consisting of a short cylindrical tube anode a so you can see this tube anode a okay this is cylindrical one this is cylindrical one and this is the axis of this particular anode and it is made up of stainless steel this anode a it is made up of stainless steel and two cathode plates k you can see this k and this k here okay uh, the greenish one so these cathode plates they are made up of titanium okay these two cathode plates they are made up of titanium whose planes are perpendicular to the axis of the cylinder so this is the axis of cylinder so the planes uh, of these particular two cathodes they are perpendicular to this uh, the cylindrical axis then the anode cylinder the dimensions of this particular anode cylinder you can see here it is 15 mi millimeter in diameter so if you consider this diameter here it is 15 millimeter and 20 millimeter long so the length of this cylindrical uh, anode is 20 mm and the cathodes they are separated from it by 4 mm so if you see the distance between the cathode and the uh, cylindrical anode that is 4 mm here also and here also okay a strong magnetic field of the order of 0.15 tesla is applied here from the permanent magnet which is external to the stainless steel pump casing e so this is the stainless steel pump casing e you can see this represented by letter e so a strong magnet permanent magnet they are placed here outside the casing that forms the uh, strong magnetic field of the order of 0.15 tesla and is directed parallel to, parallel to the cylindrical axis so you can see the direction of magnetic field represented by this vector b so it is parallel to the cylindrical axis it is parallel to the cylindrical axis of this uh, uh, sputter ion pump 
okay so the cathodes they are earth here you can see this cathode here and this cathode they are earth okay they are uh, kept at a ground potential and you can see the anode is at potential positive potential this anode is kept at positive potential and the potential here is of the order of 3 to uh, 7 uh, kilo volt so the potential is of the order of 3 to 7 kilo volt okay now let us try to understand the function of this spanning cell how it acts as a, uh, a pump and what is the meaning of sputter ion pump so basically we we are going to discuss the working of this uh, spanning cell so the discharge initially is initiated uh, maybe uh, because of the field emission at cathode so at cathode there may be field emission so the initial electrons are produced or there may be some interaction of cosmic rays here and this interaction will produce the initial electron so this electron they will be accelerated towards the anode because of the uh, positive potential high positive potential applied to the uh, this anode but this acceleration is prevented by the presence of strong magnetic field so this magnetic field is also along the axis of this uh, cylindrical anode so the acceleration of this electron that will be opposed or prevented by this strong magnetic field and that is because of this force v cross v you know that the v that is the velocity of the uh, electron and the direction velocity has its own certain direction so v cross b that is the force acting on this electron so this this electron will spiral around the magnetic field line so these electrons will spiral around the magnetic field line and what will happen because of this so the cascade of ionizing collisions each of which yields a positive ion and electron so because of this uh, motion of the electron accelerating motion of the electron so the there will be a collision of this electron with the gas molecule so actually uh, gas molecules are present here which you want to pump that means here this cell is connected to your chamber and this gas molecule will present here and the electrons accelerating electron they will collide with the gas molecule so what will happen obviously uh, there will be ionization because electrons are highly energetic here the potential is too high and therefore it will produce ionization of the gas molecules so a pair of positive ion and an electron will be produced in this case so because of this a dense electron cloud becomes trapped in the anode cylinder so each time when a gas molecule is ionized so a positive ion as well as electron is produced so the number of electron will go on increasing that will create a electron crowd and that is trapped in the anode cylinder here okay so that that is actually confined by the magnetic field and restrained axially by the cathode at ground potential so since the cathode is at uh, ground potential so this electron cloud will be restrained axially so the electrons flow long lasting spiral trajectories around the field lines back and forth between the cathodes so the, between these two cathodes the electron perform the spiral motion here and in this process they are continuously colliding with the gas molecules and they are continuously ionizing the gas molecules and a pair of electron and positive ion each time will be produced the presence of the large negative space charge causes the potential along the cylindrical axis in the central region between the cathode to be slightly below the cathode potential so this uh, because of the large negative space charge and that is due to the electron cloud so that causes the potential along the cylindrical axis in the central region between the cathodes to be slightly below the cathode potential the cathode are earth so below that that means negative potential may be there now as a result the electric field within the cylinder is radial so you can see here the electric field here is radial and therefore perpendicular to the magnetic field so the magnetic field is 
having is this direction so the electric field will be in this direction okay so it is perpendicular to the magnetic field outside the cylindrical space charge region the electric field become increasingly axial that means it is acting as a reflecting for electron as the cathode is approached so towards this direction here it will become axial so the spiraling back and forth motion of the electron between the cathodes accompanied by rotation of the charge cloud about the central axis due to what is called as e cross b drift so this this back and forth motion is because of these two fields are perpendicular to each other so the drift because of e cross b that means the electric field e cross the magnetic field b so that that force will uh, produce the spiraling back and forth motion of the electrons so this rotating cloud is the principal characteristics of the penning discharge so this rotating electron cloud is very important and that is what is called as the penning discharge so the high electron density in the cloud means that there are many ionizing collision so very large number of electrons are there in the cloud and therefore all these electrons they are involved in the process of collisions so very large number of ionizing collisions of electrons with the neutral gas molecules in the cell so each project producing positive ion and a new electron so while one electron remain in the discharge the excess electron urge outward by the electric field but constrained by the effect of magnetic field b so it diffuses slowly out of the discharge to reach the anode and contribute to the discharge current so finally it reaches to the anode and it will contribute to the discharge current okay so the positive ion on the other hand so we have seen what happens to the electron now let us see what happens with the positive ions so these positive ions you know that these cathodes are earth here so positive ion they will be accelerated towards the cathode so the positive ion on the other hand being relatively massive so their mass is much larger as compared to electron so they, they are less affected by the presence of magnetic field and they accelerate under the influence of the electric field to strike the cathode falling through the large potential difference. So they will be accelerated towards the cathode and therefore they will collide with a large potential with the cathode and thereby producing sputtering. Okay, so the impact of ion causes titanium to be sputter because these cathodes they are made up of titanium the cathodes are made up of titanium so when the ion collide on the cathode the cathode will be sputtered and the titanium atom will be sputtered in all direction and deposited on the interior of the anode cylinder and the opposite cathode so in the interior of the an anode cylinder here this titanium atom which are removed because of or made free because of this sputtering here they will be deposited in the inner surface of this anode as well as the opposite cathode so in the outer region of the cathode it builds up so here the atoms will be deposited here they will be deposited and this region because of striking of the ions here that will be erode that will erode and there will be differentiation in this region of the cathode so the sputtering causes the central region to be eroded and forming a depression the freshly deposited titanium surface surfaces pump the neutral molecules you know that titanium is acting as a gator material you know that it is the best suited gator material and which captures the gas molecules so gas molecules react with titanium gas molecules like new uh, nitrogen carbon monoxide and so on they they can be chemisorption as we have discussed earlier in the titanium sublimation pump so titanium acts as a gator and this will react with the gas molecules and thereby capturing so therefore sputtering ionization of the gas molecule as well as sputtering of the uh, gator material which are actually the cathode so simultaneously they are 
releasing fresh titanium to be made available for the capturing of the gas molecules. So this is the beauty of this penning cell or what is called as penning discharge. So the pumping is enhanced if molecules have been dissociated that means a pair of ion and electron will be formed otherwise excited in the discharge. So this is the one of the principal uh, mechanism of the penning cell. Okay. This is how the penning cell works. Okay, so uh, this is one of the uh, mechanism here. Now another mechanism you can just uh, understand from this, this particular representation here. So this a true ion pumping in which some of the energetic incident ion penetrate deeply into the cathode to become buried as stable trapped compound. So what happens here when, when the gas molecule, you can see the pink one is the gas molecule, this blue one is the electron and the yellow one is uh, actually a positive ion and black one you can see these are the atoms of uh, titanium which are actually sputtered and they are deposited on various surfaces inside the uh, this uh, penning cell. Okay. So this is this is what uh, everything is represented here uh, in respect to this particular diagram. Okay, so what happens here? These energetic ions when they strikes on this cathode. So if the energy is sufficiently high, they will be penetrating deep into the cathode and thereby they will be buried. So this is also one of the mechanism of trapping the gas molecules or their ions. Now depending on the location some may be later released by respattering because once the gas molecule is buried here suppose and next gas molecule sorry uh, next ion uh, i'm sorry not gas molecule so suppose initially uh, ion is buried here and next time suppose another ion strikes at the same point what will happen the earlier buried ion will be freed here and this is particularly a more uh, case, uh, prominent case for the argon atom because it is less uh, tightly bound or it has uh, weak forces. So it is only weakly bound. So therefore for argon this is happening, uh, this, this mechanism is happening very frequently. Okay, so another possibility or mechanism involved here uh, in, in the capturing process is that, so the third mechanism. Uh, principal at the anode surface is the simple burial of gas molecules under titanium atoms that are deposited on top of them. So suppose the gas molecule is present here. So fresh titanium atoms are deposited here. So this gas molecule will be buried under these titanium atoms. Okay, the black ones are titanium atom and the pink one is the gas molecule. So because of sputtering the continuously the uh, atoms in this region they are continuously deposited and the gas molecule which are stuck with this anode surface inner surface of the anode they will be buried under this uh, titanium uh, atom. The gas molecule that are captured in the titanium deposit on the interior anode surface straight trapped because this region is not subjected to bombardment. So once the gas molecule is trapped, it will remain trapped here because there is no bombardment of the ions. As we have seen here uh, for argon, uh, it may be because of re it may be released second time. But that will not happen here for the gas molecule in the inner surfaces of anode. Okay, let us see now another configuration of a sputter ion pump that is called as a triode conf uh, configuration. So uh, let us see the anode cathode and why it is called as a tri triode configuration because the electrode, one more electrode or rather you can say the design that improves argon, improve argon pumping which is called as triode configuration in which the cathode has an open grid structure. Okay, Instead of, instead of having the solid cathode here, it has a open grid structure the anode cylinder is now at earth potential you can see here the anode is at earth potential and the uh, pump casing is also at the earth potential so anode 
cylinder is at earth potential as uh, is the pump casing and the power supply provides negative kilo hold for the cathode okay so the cathode you can see negative supply is provided to the cathode here okay so this is what the triad configuration now in spite of its open structure the grid still provides a continuous two dimensional region at cathode potential okay so this this grid it, it's it is providing a two dimensional region for the cathode potential to be developed here now iron passing through the grid in this particular case will not reach the casing directly effectively an auxiliary anode because of the reverse electric field so here there will be a reverse electric field so that will not directly reach the casing but will oscillate back and forth before eventually reaching the cathode so it will oscillate here in this particular region back and forth before reaching the cathode but ions grazing the sides of the cathode in this region so ions grazing the sides of the cathode grid will sputter ti onto the pump casing so here what happens here this this cathode which is made up of titanium so this striking ion with a grazing angle certain angle here these these atoms because of sputtering the titanium atoms will be released here okay so the sputter titanium onto the pump casing with much greater efficiency than for normal incidence so in the earlier configuration where there was a normal incidence but here there is a grazing angle here you can see here so therefore this process takes place very effectively here uh, than the normal incidence sputtering and it forms a non iron bombarded gathering surfaces in addition to that of the anode cylinder so anode cylinder which is having the uh, titanium atoms deposited on it not only that the casing also will form another surface so therefore that casing will also act as a another electrode here and where the uh, atoms are deposited and that will act as a fresh gator surface where the gas molecules can be further deposited okay so the argon earlier case we have seen the diode configuration where argon cannot be effectively pumped but in this configuration argon is pumped if effectively at about 20 percent of the air speed because the ions neutralized by uh, glancing incidence at the grid retain much more of their kinetic energy than when rebounding backward in the diode and so uh, proceed uh, to the pump casing beyond uh, to be very effectively buried in the surface of the casing so this is this is the advantage in this particular process so the ion will not directly go here it will perform back forth motion it will oscillate here and because of the glancing angle here uh, effective uh, sputtering will take place here than the normal incidence so uh, this is how the uh, three uh, different uh, mechanism two different mechanisms we have discussed here that is the diode configuration sputter ion pump and the triode configuration sputter ion pump